Today you're going to see my favorite investing strategies in action. Specifically, I'll show you how to invest $100 so you can maximize your return on investment. Let's get started. Please don't forget to like, comment, share and subscribe. 1. Start a pop-up business. Many people dream of being their own boss someday, but never take the first step toward getting there. Running a formal business with clients, employees and financial statements really are hard, but that doesn't mean you can't start small. There's no shortage of good ideas out there once you start looking for them. Buying a cooler full of soft drinks and selling them at some event or even in a parking lot is one example of how to turn $100 into $200 in under 24 hours. Alternatively, you can design and print t-shirts, buy a few basic tools and start helping others with basic repairs, or even learn to make some crafting product that sells for many times the cost of its ingredients. 2. Invest in yourself. This may seem like a platitude, but the first piece of advice many wealthy people will give you is to read and study as much as you can. You may have to wait years to see the rewards, but skills and knowledge are assets that never go away. To give one example, a warehouse assistant who has completed a course on basic accounting, or in fact an accountant with a forklift license, is automatically more employable. Rising healthcare costs are a very real thing facing many Americans, and unfortunately they're not showing signs of slowing down anytime soon. Many health issues are beyond our control, but the one variable we can control is how well we take care of our bodies. Some of the most prevalent health problems facing our population are self-induced. Heart disease, type 2 diabetes, stroke, and many other problems are believed to be more common in sedentary people than in people who regularly exercise. In fact, according to a recent study from The Lancet, physical inactivity is responsible for a substantial economic burden. 1. The study estimates that the total economic cost of the doctor visits, lost time from work, insurance claims, and other costs is almost $28 billion in the United States each year. On average, people who exercise regularly incur fewer healthcare expenses. Invest in your health and your wallet by joining a gym, if you haven't already. It's worth every penny. 3. Start a website. If you have some particular interest, cooking, gardening, chainsaw juggling, craft beer, chances are that someone is willing to read what you have to say on the subject. A hundred dollars can easily pay for a website's domain, name, registration and a year's web hosting. As long as you keep adding fresh, high-quality content, your monthly readership is almost sure to increase over time. Eventually, you'll be able to monetize this by hosting ads. Check the link in bio to check my favorite way of generating $1,000 per day on autopilot. 4. Trade in household goods. One man's trash is another man's treasure, if you can buy stuff from the one who thinks it's trash, and sell it on to the guy who thinks it's a treasure, you can make a profit. Websites like Craigslist make it possible to earn a steady living in this way. You can scout out possible merchandise to flip at events like garage sales, estate auctions and discount days at thrift stores. You often find useful stuff that's way underpriced, especially in wealthy neighborhoods, and can earn even more if you have a skill like reupholstering furniture. 5. Peer-to-peer -peer lending platforms. Peer-to-peer -peer lending platforms allow consumers to obtain loans directly from other individuals, instead of going through a bank or other financial institutions. Many people choose to borrow from peer-to-peer -peer lending platforms because they can have lower interest rates and more flexible payment plans than other lenders. As an investor, you can actually contribute to these loans and reap the financial benefits in the form of interest. You don't have to fund an entire loan, instead, you'll fund part of a loan, sometimes in increments as low as $25. You'll earn returns when borrowers pay back the loan. While the returns may not be as high as investing in the stock market, it's less of a financial risk, and you'll get higher returns than you would with a savings account. 6. Invest $100 in an online course. If you can't bring yourself to sit down for 30 minutes a day and read a book, taking an online course is probably the next best thing you can do for your own growth. Being taught skills that you want, from experts that have those skills, can have a very high ROI, especially when you consider how inexpensive online courses are compared to traditional college classes. Unsure of where to start? I recently signed up for a site called Masterclass, an up-and-coming online course platform has been coined by some as being the Netflix of self-education.
Masterclass has dozens of courses from world-renowned experts in a variety of specialties. The video production quality of the courses is impressive, you won't be bored in these classes. 7. Start an online business. A common myth that pervades our mainstream social dialogue is that you need a lot of money to start a business. Now, more than ever, that is just not true. The price of entry has been lowered immensely because of the internet. There is nothing stopping someone from buying a domain name and hosting today for fewer than $10. Dollarsprout.com, the site you are on right now, is a business that was started on a shoestring budget. What started out as a, very, small business has grown into a viable long-term business that employs a handful of people. The one drawback to the price of entry being lower today than ever before is that the level of competition is at an all-time high. Anyone can start, which means you are competing with a lot of people. Don't let that deter you, let it motivate you. Here are some businesses you can start with fewer than $100. Blog, like Dollar Sprout. Virtual Assistant. Freelance writer, editor, or proofreader. Dropshipping business. Copywriting. 8. Have some fun with flipping used stuff. Buying something for cheap, or even getting it for free, and then flipping it for a profit is not just a thrill, but it's a great way to get experience with negotiating, business, and sales. If you have an extra $100 laying around and you want a true entrepreneurial challenge, hit up your local thrift store or find some garage sales in your town. If you find a good deal on something that you know is underpriced, jump on it. For people interested in flipping, it's important to have an end goal in mind. What do you hope to accomplish by flipping? Going all in without a clear goal is probably not the best use of your time since you are essentially starting from scratch every time you go out looking for deals. You aren't really building anything you have equity in, it's more just a hobby. Turn $100 into $1000 and use profits to start a new business. Complete 10 successful flips. Experiment with different negotiation techniques and get comfortable with making a deal. 9. Join a gym. Rising healthcare costs are a very real thing facing many Americans, and unfortunately they're not showing signs of slowing down anytime soon. Many health issues are beyond our control, but the one variable we can control is how well we take care of our bodies. Some of the most prevalent health problems facing our population are self-induced. Heart disease, type 2 diabetes, stroke, and many other problems are believed to be more common in sedentary people than in people who regularly exercise. In fact, according to a recent study from The Lancet, physical inactivity is responsible for a substantial economic burden. 1. The study estimates that the total economic cost of the doctor visits, lost time from work, insurance claims, and other costs is almost $28 billion in the United States each year. On average, people who exercise regularly incur fewer healthcare expenses. Invest in your health and your wallet by joining a gym, if you haven't already. It's worth every penny. 10. Build a blog. If you are wondering how you can build an additional income stream and follow the slogan, invest $100 make $1000 a day, then you should consider building a blog. So yes, blogging can be an extremely lucrative career. If you enjoy writing, are a patient person, are considered an expert, are passionate about something, enjoy connecting with your audience, then blogging may be the right choice for you. Caution. One thing that many aspirational bloggers fail to realize is that blogging takes a lot of time. It will likely take you several years to start seeing passive income from your blog. However, if your goal is to make $365,000 per year with your $100, then you can make your dream a reality with patience. A blog can give you passive income, increased flexibility, full-time work potential. In fact, about 10% of American adults maintain a blog, that's about 31 million Americans. 11. Build your social media following. Did you know the average influencer on social media can earn between $30,000 to $100,000 plus per year? By shoutouts and promos for $20. The point is this, start today. Start now. There will never be that perfect time to start investing. Your bank accounts will thank me later. How do you plan to invest your next $100? Let me know in the comments below.